गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज़ अनुरुद्ध तिवारी माउंट लिटर जी स्कूल झांसी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द लीव लास्ट इन द लास्ट सेशन एलेवेंथ क्लास इन सी आर टी बुक वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सम मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ ए स्टेम इन द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ लीव एंड इन द लीव वी हैव सो मैनी थिंग्स टू बी डिस्कस्ड सच एज द आउटर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लीव एंड द वेन्स विच आर फाउंड इन लीव वॉट काइंड ऑफ वेनिशन वॉट काइंड ऑफ अरेंजमेंट दे हैव so the leaf is the green part of the plant it is also known as the kitchen of the plant it has chlorophyll it produces food in the presence of sunlight by the process photosynthesis leaves originate from shoot apical meristem and are arranged in an acropetal manner the leaf has several different parts where which you can see here on the screen it has a wide opened area flat area which is known as lamina which absorbs much amount of light the another part which attaches the leaf to the stem is known as petiole and one more part which is attached between the leaf and the stem that is known as leaf base the base of the leaf is known as leaf base and inside the leaf you can see one single straight line of midrib that means that is the main vein of leaf which carries food material and water molecules for the leaf and from that mid rib so many different branches come out they are known as leaf veins these leaf veins distribute water and food material throughout the leaf now just arrangement of these veins if they are in a network then that type of leaf venation is known as reticulate venation and if the network of veins is absent and the veins are parallel to each other then it is known as parallel venation reticulate venation is found mostly in mango beans pea plants and parallel venation is found in banana and grass and rice there are certain types of leaves also such as compound leaf simple leaf compound leaf again can be divided into two parts pinnately compound leaf and palmately compound leaf so a leaf is divided into several parts so i am making this one particular diagram through which you can understand the simple leaf and the compound leaf a simple leaf is something like this which is attached to one petiole and one leaf base attached to it and one single flat lamina this is a simple leaf when the simple leaf becomes compound leaf then it is like this when the incision of lamina reaches up to the mid rib and it is converted into a small small leaflets suppose this is the main rachis this particular line which i have drawn is main rachis and on this main rachis so many leaves come out like this then it is known as a compound leaf this is a compound leaf and here it is attached to the main branch of the plant this is a compound leaf so compound leaf again is divided into two parts pinnately compound leaf and palmately compound leaf so this diagram which i have made is the example of pinnately compound leaf the pinnas these are the pinnas and if i talk about the palmately compound leaf then the palmately compound leaf look like looks like this this is a palmately compound leaf this is a palmately compound leaf here in front of you so these two are pinnately and palmately compound leaves now there is one more thing phyllotaxy of plant a uh, uh, phyllotaxy of uh, leaves that means in what manner leaves are arranged on one stem leaves may be in this particular manner that means one leaf is here then another leaf is here then another leaf is here in an alternate manner so this is known as alternate type of phyllotaxy now the leaves may be in the opposite side leaves may be at one place may come out from the same place but to opposite sides like this like this so this type of arrangement of leaf on stem is known as alternate opposite type of phyllotaxy this is opposite type of 
phyllotaxy and sometimes the leaf come out from one place in several numbers such as like this like this or it can be also made like this one leaf the whole of leaf at one place the whole of leaf at another place then a whole of leaf at another place so this type of phyllotaxy is known as hold type of phyllotaxy here it is written hold type of phyllotaxy so i have told you all three alternate opposite and hold type of phyllotaxy now the next heading is inflorescence inflorescence that means the arrangement of flower on branch that is known as inflorescence so for inflorescence there are two types of inflorescence racemose inflorescence and cymose inflorescence so what actually happens in these raci uh, racemose inflorescence i am just drawing one diagram this is a branch suppose and one flower comes out from here this is a flower which has come out and this is another flower which has come out this is another flower which has come out and the main branch keeps on growing and the flowers are are arising on sideways flowers are arising at the lateral side of the branch but the main branch is growing continuously growing this is inflorescence this is cymose type of inflorescence and when there is racemose type of inflorescence then all the branches terminate with one one flower when the branch does not grow and it terminates with one flower this type of arrangement of flower is known as cymose type of arrangement of flower the next heading is the flower which we are going to read in the next session thank you very much have a nice day